In the previous video, we talked about state space application into a differential equations in terms of the pendulum analysis, and the components of A, B, C's, and D's are all over, all over here. Okay, and state space analysis help us to analyze a certain situation or in terms of certain um, discrete um, information. But now, and also that says state space analysis help us to solve these differential equations. Okay, now we're going to introduce you with, uh, with another method to solve the differential equations while acquiring a different form of information. Alright, so state space analysis gives us a different state of information. Alright, this state of information may be de determined by A, B, C, and D. Alright, and in terms of the input and the, um, I mean, XT and the input UT. Okay. I'm not going into details, but this is state space itself just to give you a state of the of the differential equation or the state of a signal. While the now what we are doing is to do do in terms of Laplace transform. By Laplace transform itself will start to give us the understanding of the natural frequency, the damping frequency and things like that. Okay? And therefore this is the equation that we have derived earlier in the previous set previous two video all right on um, the pendulum system now if we were to do a Laplace transform ensuring that x dot all right 0 is equals to 0 this is all the initial condition and x not equals to 0 all right I'm not going into details on deriving it I will straight away jump all right I will straight away jump into the outcome I will have I would have s square theta capital all right theta um theta this this theta is in fact a small capital uh capital h all right this thing is the uh, uppercase theta all right so i'm gonna write in terms of this case and therefore um plus um c over i s theta s I actually forget to write this. Alright. So it's simply in other words this is just x square y s to a certain extent if it is, if this is familiar to you. So I'm just simply writing in terms of theta itself. Okay? And then let away I just let you know that theta dot dot is equals to um s square y of s minus um s y zero minus Okay, if you just just to show you that okay, so if this the these initial conditions are zero, this is why this is zero, this is zero. I'm left only x square y s, which explains why I have this thing over here. Okay, if you still remember the different the Laplace transform of a differential equation. Okay, so likewise I'm doing this for the 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 first order differential equation, and then what I'm doing right now is also to write it down. For the for this stuff, okay, and this T S is in terms of the Laplace domain, I. Okay, so this this form right here is the Laplace form. Okay, now I rearrange because now I see that um, all of them has the same constant of H S, so I'm gonna group them together, and what I have is um, me I'm simply factorizing out the hs so what i have is s s square plus cis plus mgl 2i is equals to ts i okay and then i'm gonna bring um, this thing okay down to the side okay and then I will bring this to, to the other side. So in other words, um, this is it. Okay. So this is a rewritten form of this one. Okay. I'm just simply taking this thing and then I bring it down to the to the bottom, divide it by something. Okay. I think I think you just get what I mean. This is just that. Okay. This is just that. 
Okay, and therefore, this thing, alright, I can just rewrite as g of s is equals to this one. Uh, wait, uh, it's equals to this one. Alright. Therefore, now we're gonna solve in terms of this equation. Alright. Um, the um, the Kano ni the Canon Nico form of a second order system, which is totally very familiar to you. Okay. In fact, I should add in the natural frequency in this case. Okay. To be more defined. Okay, and therefore I'll take this thing, alright, place it over here, and then let's compare. Okay, let's compare. This is a standard equation for any damping systems. Okay, and if I were to compare, Wn square is this one. Okay, and therefore Wn square is equals to mg, I should write it mgl over 2i and then if i want to change bring this square i cancel this it comes like this all right and therefore we have solved the natural frequency okay and next this one two damping coefficient all right is equals to this one over here so if I were to write it down, ci is equals to 2 omega, alright? And in fact, this is also a um, natural frequency, okay, this is natural frequency. And therefore, if I were to rearrange uh, in terms of the damping factor, uh, just simply c um, over 2i, the natural frequency, is equals to this one. Therefore, the natural frequency is this one, and the damping coefficient or the damping factor is actually this one, or to be more defined is this one, the damping factor. Okay, and if you are keen to find k omega n square, all right, it's simply this one. All right, so k omega n square is simply mgl, which is what we have um, derived earlier. So I'm just simply writing as mgl 2i, okay, is equals to 1 over i, which is um, over here, alright, so this thing, uh, or the other is this thing is k omega n square, which is this one, and then 1 over i is simply this one, okay, and therefore if I were to rearrange, alright, in terms of k, what I will have is equals to, um, 2i mgli and then I cancel each other I have 2 over mgl okay so the k is in terms of this one so from here then I will have the value of k so you, if you have a mass of a system you know the gravity you know the length of your if you remember this L length is the length of the lake alright in the lake because of our, our pendulum system and then this is the second moment of area m r square is equals to i alright this is the length of the of, of the center of mass where this is the mass itself so when you have all this information and see this is a damping factor you can just um, do whatever you want to solve for the equation alright so this this approach is to help us to see and look on the um, the stability also on or damping factor of a certain system. Alright, so this approach, the Laplace approach, can help us to solve a differential equation, giving us a different information. In terms of um, state space, will give us another, will give us another form of information in terms of the state of the differential equation. And I hope this is um, pretty much clear. And yeah, this is it.